first got involved with Boone's Bourbon is my son actually started the whole project. Uh, he had a suggestion from someone when he graduated from college. And when he went out to Nashville, he decided he was gonna do it. When he decides on something, he goes full force. So he had all his ducks in a row. The only thing was his investor wasn't prepared to invest the money for startup. So I had seen all the work that he'd put in. I tasted the bourbon, I liked it. And I went down to the Stripe Pig Distillery where we are right now, talked to the owners and I got a pretty good idea that I could get my investment back in less than a year. So I put up the money and Tyler and I became partners and that's how I got started with Boone's Bourbon. My take on bourbon and whiskey or comparing or contrasting, um, bourbon is, can only be made in the United States and it has to use new charred white oak American barrels. So I like that because it's an all American product. All, the, all of the grains and all of everything that goes into it, the water, uh, the barrels that it's aged in, it's all American products. Uh, I like other whiskeys. I like Irish and Scotch and, and some, some Canadian whiskeys, but I'm really uh, happy about, we have our own American product and it's outstanding. And it's different because, because of the new chart of barrels, it gets a lot more flavor profiles and the color is much prettier. I like that beautiful red-brown color of bourbon. The thoughts I have on the Stripe Pig, they are really behind the, the community, the local community, and they do a lot of things to promote local. They support local. I, just in this past several months, um, they've made hand sanitizers and donated them to hospitals and first responders. They do a great job of that. Uh, it, you can come in and do tours and they give you the whole story. The other thing is it's a really cool story about early America and spirits and how they got around some of the laws from, from Great Britain to be able to get spirits out to people. So it's, it's a really, really neat place. It's the oldest distillery in Charleston since the prohibition. So those, those are pretty much my thoughts. I, I think it's a great, great distillery and a great business, nice people. Boone's Bourbon Mash Bill. It is 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% barley, which makes a great blend. It has a nice sweetness because of the high corn. It has spiciness on the finish with the rye, and it has a, not a terribly long finish, but longer, longer than average, and it has a great mouthfeel. Um, the aroma's nice, and I love the high proof. The high proof makes it so versatile. If you don't like high proof, you can add water or ice. If you like it, you can sip it, and it holds up so well in a cocktail. It's a fantastic product, and uh, th that's why I got behind it. When Tyler brought a bunch of samples home to try, I picked it out right away, and he had the same feeling. So it, we, we really, really like the product. Our future plans for Boone's Bourbon are to expand nationwide and globally. Uh, there's a lot of different platforms that we're working on, a lot of different people we're speaking with. We're working on developing uh, 1.75 liters in the next couple of weeks, and we already have the 50 milliliters and 750 milliliters. So we're expanding. Uh, our future plans are to keep, keep pushing, keep marketing, get it out to people so they can try it. And we like to associate it with the music. Uh, Tyler plays rock and blues and bourbon goes great with that platform of music. Hey there, my name is Tyler Boone. Uh, I'm the founder of Boone's Bourbon, also a singer songwriter. Uh, I live now out in Los Angeles, California. Uh, the, the distillery, Stripe Pig Distillery, and the brand is from Charleston, South Carolina, which is my hometown. Uh, I started the brand in 2015. I was living in Nashville, I had a big management deal. Uh, that didn't go through, I ended up turning it down. Um, and then in 2018, I moved back to Charleston, uh, launched the bourbon brand with my father. Um, it took just to, basically just took us money to get it. Uh, we finally did it. Um, and then uh, two months later, Pixie Paula, who you've seen this video of Local Choice Spirits and now the owner of Strike Bay Distillery, uh, she became our partner uh, on compliances and licenses. And since due to me touring, uh, having songs go to the radio, just all the stuff that comes with being a musician and you know being an artist in a band, uh, we are now in 13 states, always working to get up more. 
Um, you know, we've been, a, we've been a big retail. It's awesome. So uh, Boone's Bourbon has been a dream come true, and it's still growing. What makes Boone's Bourbon different uh, from other brands is uh, when it comes to an artist, a songwriter with a brand, usually it's like an endorsement deal. Uh, it's totally different with us. So actually, you know, we own it. Uh, we are the ones behind it. We're the ones landing the deals in liquor stores, uh, sponsorships. Um, uh, growing a band is just like a brand, just like anything else. Uh, it just takes time, it takes money. Uh, you know, you, grassroots is the way that we approach it. Um, we're getting bigger every year. Um, we're bringing on brokers. Uh, we've landed things in the Costco, Total Wine, hopefully BevMo soon. Um, it's been great. So people ask me all the time when I first get started in the spirits business, and I think it was probably at birth, because they say we're not about just spirits, we're about inspiration. And I've always had this sense of magical inspiration in me. But I first got interested in an education back in 2008. I was asked to come in as a consultant and help move a technology company that purified and um, rapidly matured alcohol and get them out of kind of R&D and into manufacturing. And I fell in love with the industry. And I thought this is the most amazing space for a woman to be. First of all, I've always been a, a woman in disruptive roles and traditionally male dominated industries, but this one like involved everything put together that was perfect for a woman. Hospitality, taking care of people, celebration, prosperity, creating inspiration. So it all started back in 2008-2009 and um, then Local Choice Spirits was born out of a dream that I had January 1st, 2011. So I started building brands in 2010, 11, 12, and then recognized that I wanted to have my own distillery. So I started looking around around 2013 and became made aware of the Stripe Pig Distillery. And that began my romance with the Stripe Pig. And about four years ago, I really solidified my relationship with the team here that had been um, doing a, an amazing job launching the first distillery in South Carolina since Prohibition. And then a couple years ago, I came in as the CEO and the rest is history, and now I am a very proud female owner of the Stripe Pig Distillery. We are family run, and we are still considered the best distillery in Charleston, South Carolina. So what's my journey been like trying to be disruptive in the spirits industry as a woman with a different vision and a different perspective? I've had to butt a lot of heads and cross a lot of ground, and it's been a challenge. Having a, a woman's perspective, which is long overdue in this space, especially because most of the history around spirits developed with women to begin with. So it's been interesting and a journey for sure, but the rewards are just so amazing. And I think that the fact that I started talking about diversity, divinity and disruption over a decade ago, it's taken a long time for the industry to really kind of wake up and embrace that we need to bring diversity to this industry. I've been doing that for over a decade. So you can imagine right now how rewarded I feel to have been a pioneer in making that a reality for all of my brands under the Local Choice Spirits and Stripe Pig Distillery label. It's a blessing. So my model at Local Choice is that I build partnership brands. I believe that you know, two plus two equals a thousand happens when everybody comes together. And so uh, there's a saying that says the whole is always greater than the sum of its parts. And that really, really is an exponential capture in the spirit space. So I developed a model that said we're going to be partners and we're each going to bring the best of the best to the table. And so I was so delighted when Tyler and Mick Boone uh, became my partners because I feel there's nobody out there that works works as hard as they do, that really embraces with the same vision and passion that I have, that we could actually be something really unique and disruptive in the industry. And every time people say to me, how is Boone's Bourbon doing? I always say Guinness Book of World Records because I just know because I've been around now for over a decade that they have the magic and the spark with me combined to do something that has never been done before. And hence we launched our music media and magic platform and I'm helping to um, inspire, I like to say, Tyler says I helped to manage him, but I think he manages me, uh, building his career. And we thought in 
instead of getting an artist that comes in and endorses a spirits product, let's just build the artist and the spirit at the same time. And it's just been going gangbusters and it's so well received because it's a unique story, it's original, and it touches people's hearts that we're coming together to do something great. So I'm excited about the future. What does the future hold? anything. We are only limited by our own imagination at this point and the number of hours in the day because this product is good, the people are good, our mission is really, really good and we're creating happiness and again, we're creating inspiration, not spirits and that's really one of our unique plays. So people ask all the time, like, where do you position yourself in the marketplace? And I say, we are really a super premium, but with a value price, because we really care about our relationship with our consumers. They're part of the family. And Boone's Bourbon is really family made. We say homegrown for a, real, for a reason. We're all together in this whole brand expansion. And all our brands are amazing. We don't let anything out of the distillery that isn't award-winning to begin with. But I say it all the time. If I had to bet all my money on a particular product, I would be going with Boone's. I think that the future is completely unlimited. The product is amazing. It's very unique in its category. And I'm just so excited about what it holds next. But if you haven't had it, you should make the investment in yourself to grab a bottle, or to ask for it to be carried at your local liquor store. Our distribution is opening up every week. Something new is happening, but I'm telling you, it's a place to bet your money. My latest single, Getting High, uh, just dropped uh, less than two months ago. It just went to radio. Uh, yesterday and today is now impacting uh, on AAA and rock radio. Going for ads on Sirius XM, it's pretty awesome. Uh, my buddy Eric Bass of Shinedown, who uh, D you know Danny Wimmer presents, is very familiar with. Uh, he mixed the single, um, so it's been great. Uh, and I released it with Tom Sarig on his label, Anti Fragile. Um, it's doing big things on Spotify, Pandora. Uh, it's really cool. And in the music video, you'll see here soon. Uh, you know, we'll put a little clip of it in here. Uh, it features the Boone's Bourbon. Uh, it's been great. So yeah, once again, thanks for checking us out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the Boons of Bourbon. We're a new brand, but uh, you know we're trying to be up there with the big guys, and uh, we're growing it every day. And it's because of you guys we're growing, and uh, we really appreciate it. So thank you so much from Boons Bourbon and uh, from the Strike Pig Distillery. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Thank you.